Hey, how's it going? I'm Kevin here with Drones Made Easy, and today we're gonna try out the new Flycart 30. We have two batteries and the remote, and we're gonna try out the winch system as well. So this drone can carry a max payload of up to 88 pounds. Oh wait, I'll grab these batteries first. Ugh. Batteries are about 20 pounds each. You can follow me. The wingspan of the drone from tip to tip is about 12 feet. So you need a lot of space to fly this guy. All right, so now we're gonna open the propellers and the arms. I'm gonna show you how to lock up the arms. So. Once the arms are completely extended, you just wanna snap them in. And then we also have these uh, propeller holders right here. So we're gonna take those off. We have a 15 pound sandbag that we're gonna be using today uh, with the winch system. If you wanna see the winch system, it's down here. Yeah, so here's the winch. You just uh, put your line in there or whatever your payload is and then it grabs onto it. Once you're at your designated area, and then you just drop that down. That's all four arms. It's nice to have them lock in a place like that so you know they're exactly where they're supposed to be. There's no questions about it. All right, so. see these props and they're about uh, I would say two and a half feet three feet there are dual props on each motor that way you have redundancy just in case one of the motors goes out then you still have some backup power and you also have the dual batteries here you can fly with one battery it's gonna uh, bring down your flight time so with no payload and just one battery, you're gonna get 15 minutes of flight time with two batteries. No payload, you get about 30 minutes. Uh, when you max out the payload with one battery, it's about nine minutes. And with two batteries, it's about uh, 18, I believe. I'll have to double check that. We also have the parachute system here, uh, just in case anything happens with the drone. Uh, the motors will cut and then the payload will deploy, or the parachute will deploy. And then that way you have a safe controlled landing. We have two RTK modules here on the back side of the drone. We have the radar uh, detector here on the front. This will help with obstacle avoidance. We have two obstacle avoidance cameras right here. We got some front headlights on the drone. As you can see, this is a big drone, so it takes a while to just walk around it. And then on the back side, if you want to walk around, we have an additional radar on the back. And so that way you have a lot more omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the aircraft. Now, let's get to the fun stuff. Okay, so here we have the RC Plus remote. It's gonna be the same remote you find on the M350, the Matrice 30T, as well as the Inspire 3. Uh, it's gonna come with this harness mount and waist support. That way you can, uh, or actually not the waist support, just the harness mount. So it can be hands-free when you're utilizing the drone. All right, so now that we got our remote, we've got a remote case. I'll just lock that up for now. And now we got our payload. So let's go strap this on. First, we're gonna power on the remote. We'll give that a second to warm up. And again, this is gonna be our payload uh, or our cargo that we're gonna be transporting. Uh, this drone, is intended to be used with pretty much any sort of payload. Uh, right now we have the winch system installed. What the winch system is for is to um, transport different boxes or different size equipment um, with a winch. So it'll grab onto whatever payload you have with the hook. Uh, it'll lift it up and then you're able to reel it up and down. And then that way you can uh, drop off uh, a package without having to actually land the drone. I'm just going to do a quick 
pre-flight check. Make sure all our arms are good. And then I'll check the propellers. This is important for any size aircraft, from the smallest mini to the largest Flight Cart 30. All right, so now we have our remote powered on. We're gonna power on the drone. So you power on the drone by uh, doing the same power on sequence as the remote, one press, one long hold, or we're gonna do it on the actual battery right here. So one press and then press and hold. So now the drone's gonna start to power up. So I'm gonna give it a little space. All right, that's the startup sound right there. Now we're connected, we got our home point. Now we're gonna apply our payload to the winch. If you wanna come close a little bit, I'm gonna show you how the winch system works. So on the remote, there's a dial on the right side. So if we bring it to the right, our winch system will drop. As you can see, there's a hook on here. So this hook, this hook can be uh, latched manually. There's a little lock up here that'll allow you to um, load up cargo on the ground and then the hook will stay put once this um, hook system comes up it'll release the actual lock mechanism and then that way the weight of the package is going to be what's holding on um, or what makes the hook grip so once you release the package and that weight is lifted the hook will automatically release and then you're able to reel it back up. So very simple, but uh, very effective. So now we're just gonna load up with caution. Uh, our sandbag. So we have a piece of rope attached to it. This is gonna be how we attach it. So I'm gonna slide it underneath, and then I'm gonna put in the rope. All right. So it's important to go directly under the landing gear. You don't want to go up and over the landing gear. Uh, that's important because it might not release properly. So now that we have that, we're all set and we're ready to take off. Initiating takeoff sequence. We're unlocked. Now we're good to go. All right, ready? All clear. All right. Motors are starting. All right. Woo! I'm gonna move it forward a little bit. All right. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick flight safety check. All right, that's a wrap.